the one we wore for Cal was really pretty, that purple one with like the cutout in the front, but I really like the one we're wearing this weekend. It's so comfortable. Yeah, they're not, they're not they're different. They're not always comfortable. <laughs> no, so there's one. Oh, so we haven't worn it, and I'm super excited. That I don't think we're going to. You can barely lift your arms on it. I'm so serious. So like the material? Yes, because there's a couple layers to it. There's like the like the shiny material, and then there's like a, a mesh over top, and like it does not stretch. We have a really hard time putting it on our forearms. Oh my gosh. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> right, so coming off of a season high score, I mean, uh, the momentum you guys have from over the weekend, you guys are going to your third game in like eight days. I mean, what is this team kind of doing right now to, I guess, continue that momentum and, you know, kind of build on what you, know, you guys could be tired, but you guys continue to build yeah, um, I'm so proud of this team. This We finally have turned the corner and we're building on momentum. We're building on what we know we've been able to do. Um, we're, we're that normal LSU team. We're doing what um, we've been training. And we're just getting out there and putting ourselves on autopilot and, um, and letting our routine speak for themselves. Um, we really did that on Friday and, and our challenge was, okay, great job, but can we, let's move that to Sunday. Can we build from this and not take steps back like we've been doing this season? And I'm so proud of this team for doing that. Um, I, I feel like we figured it out and it's clicked and, and I'm excited and I'm hungry to continue to compete. What did you see from the work from everyone after that Kentucky that had been played the low spot of the season? Yeah, um, I mean, they're, they're, you're not going to go into a meet um, and hit the way you want every single meet, you know. Um, things happen, but I, I really like the way we recovered from it and, and continuing into the rest of the season. I think that every meet we've learned a lesson, and um, I'm just proud of this team for not only learning the lesson, but applying it and, and taking what we've learned to the next meet. So how, how do you if someone, if there is a, a miss on your team, it's kind of affected y'all, especially on the road. Totally. At, at Auburn and, and, and Kentucky. How do y'all overcome that? Are you better equipped to overcome that now at this point in the season? Definitely. Uh, the rest of the meets in the, in the season um, help us to help us with that experience and help us to take what we've learned and, and continue um, to further. But um, I think that those meets, um, we're going to see those teams again. We're going to see those teams at SECs and potentially nationals and even regionals. So um, it's putting that in the past and knowing we're going to see them again. And, um, but focusing on ourselves, not focusing on what, what happened, but um, focusing on the future. You're in your, what, third week straight on in the beam lineup. Are you feeling more comfortable there now? Yes, uh, it's so fun. Um, I've always loved competing beam. And my teammates always joke that um, beam is so fun on a good day <laughs> because when you hit beam, there's, there's no better feeling. Um, but I, I'm just excited um, that my team trusts me and the coach gave me that opportunity. Um, so it's really just up to, to see who's competing Sammy or I. Can you describe a little bit your vault routine? So they get the very, it seems right, right before you land, you do like a half turn. Yeah. What, what is that called? And have you done that? Have you done that? Have you had that all year? That's something that's kind of new? So that was a vault I started training my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. um, but because of a shoulder injury, I started um, facing in about mid preseason. We kind of had to slow things down um, because they really needed me more on floor at the time. So we started focusing on that. And then as junior year came around, um, I was able to start training that again. But then, of course, my Achilles. So that came to a halt. But um, yeah, this is a, a particularly new vault for me. Uh, but I'm so excited to finally get it going and being able to compete it every week and um, get, seeing it get better every week. It, it's been a huge goal of mine. I'm, I've been thrilled to do it. But yeah, it's a front handspring, front pike half. Um, without the half, it wouldn't be a 10-0 start value. So that half is crucial for that for that 10-0. Is that a common vault? It doesn't seem like a lot of gymnasts yeah. across the country do it in most of those. Yeah, it's it's really not. Um, I would say it's it's more for athletes of my build of that, you know, that kind of that raw um, power to them. The Yurchenko, what you would see most gymnasts do, is it's more technical, and I'm not a very technical gymnast. Um, so that vault didn't – I did that vault okay, but the front vault is, is um, better for me. Oh, yeah, so, I guess build or with, with – how many meets you guys have had over the last couple of days? I mean, obviously, once you guys get to the uh, this post season, it'll be more like that. We'll be asked to do more meets in a short amount of time, like right now. How does this kind of stretch up you guys? Uh, 
postseason that's coming up? It's huge, um, and especially that meet on Friday on podium with other teams in the arena. Um, that's what we're going to see in the postseason, and, and having those distractions and, and all the, the noise from other teams. Like when you're in a beam routine in a dual meet, you, you're hearing the music you've chosen to listen to, and versus in a quad meet, you're hearing someone's floor routine that maybe you're not used to the music, or maybe it's a bit loud or dramatic, and so you, you're having to focus in and dial in. So us getting to practice that now is huge. Um, about uh, first, after the first couple of meets, the coaches start putting in our heads like, hey, Thursday's inner squad in the gym is, is like day one at regionals or day one at nationals. So we, we like to practice that mindset as we further into the season.